but one of my friends was asking me to create a Johnny Greenwood style Maximus P guitar effect. So I looked at some of the videos, like this one. <laughs> And what he's doing there is he's using Maximus P to record the time, record the guitar sound as it's going, and then like go back in time like 200 milliseconds, and then grab that and then just repeat it over and over and over and over again. And there's a bunch of different ways you can do that, but I thought that I would take a stab at doing it my way. And here it is. I call it Mr. Greenwood's. It's um pretty fantastic. There it is in presentation mode, looking all nice. And if we take it out of presentation mode, it looks kind of like this. And it's kind of complicated. And who knows what it's doing. I was trying to figure out how to explain what it's doing. And I thought that this might work is if I took it apart and kind of put it in these components and explained each one. Okay, so the audio signal path for this patch is really simple. The audio input is uh, it's taking the guitar sound and it's going into the tape loop and it's coming directly out of the tape loop and in the unaffected state, it just that's all it is, it's just a straight through. Uh, when the effect is turned on, it the tape out, the reader head, will be set to something like, say, 200 milliseconds and it will basically go back in time and grab the last 200 milliseconds and feed that you know, out and back around and this will be set to one, so instead of it you know, when it's set to zero, it's blocking it. When it's set to one, it's getting all of the signal through. And so then it will just, it will repeat. You know, like, bah, 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 do, 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 that kind of thing, you know. And all right. And so the interesting thing is to try to get it to do that in any sort of, you know, musical manner. So I thought I would use uh, BPM and, you know, make some divisions of BPM. So this way when you hit hit the button this button here it will select randomly one of the different divisions that you set up of the time okay that doesn't make sense maybe it does who knows okay so when you hit the button it selects randomly one of eight divisions of the time that you've selected so say it's 120 bpm or 122 in this case. And the milliseconds between the beats is 491.8 milliseconds. And so if we wanted to say if it was quarter notes, which is you know every you know every beat in a 4-4 time, it would be say I want I want the last 491 milliseconds and that would sound exactly like it was repeating on the quarter note. Like bang 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 do do whatever and but then you could sort of say oh, i want eight notes and so you'd multiply that number by 0. 0.5 and then it's like da 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 da, da or maybe 16 notes do, 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 do. i don't want to do 30 second notes it's too much okay so and then i and then i started getting fancy and i added ways to select which one of those divisions that you wanted it's not really that important but with the patch that I that I'm working on, you can select say I want 16th and 32nd notes, and that's it. Those are the only two I want, and it will randomly select either or. or. And yeah, that's kind of neat. And so what this is down here is something that tells the line object where to move the tape head, how long to stay there, and then where to go back and how fast. All right, so here, no, cancel that. So here's the patch, and you can see now when I hit this button, um, it picks you know, like one of these three. It will, it will, one of these three things will bang. So you can see as I hit this, one of these three will light up. Cool. Now I can hit select more, and oh look at this! Ah, la 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 la! All of them, not all of them. And I did this in a really weird way because I'm kind of hacky when it comes to Maximus P. I just hack at it until it works the way that I want it to. I don't really do things properly. Who needs to do things properly? You can just sort of make, you can, you can make things work so many different ways. And I'm not really a programmer. I just like to pretend that I can do these. I can just, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Who cares?
So I asked my friendly to play around with it and I'll show you a video now of the kind of this experimenting that we did with it and it kind of changed as we went along. We I added some things and took some stuff away to to allow him to do different things with it. And yeah, I, was, I thought the I thought it was really interesting. So yeah, here it is. <laughs> 